completely random things that you should know if you're thinking about moving to the greater Nashville area. Here we go. Hello, you guys, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Rebecca. I'm a realtor based here in Middle Tennessee and I make videos every single week about all things life in Greater Nashville, things to do here, tips for buying or selling here, pretty much anything under the sun when it comes to Middle Tennessee. But in today's video, I have been keeping a list for a little bit of just some completely random things that you should know if you're thinking about moving to Nashville. And today I decided that I would finally sit down and share them with you guys. So if you're ready for just a bunch of random things to know about moving here or living here, here we go, let's jump on in. Okay, number one is that the freeways have super low speed limits. I feel like this is probably a common thing in the South, but if you're coming from like out West or maybe even the Midwest or the East, I don't really know how their speed limits are there. But personally, coming from the West, the speed limits on the freeways around Nashville are super low, like 50, 55 miles an hour. Um, I'm used to freeway speed limits, even in the city being like 60, 65, 70. So that's kind of a weird thing. <laughs> the thing is no one really follows the speed limits, but just know that is what the speed limits are. So drive fast at your own risk, I guess. Number two is that Southern hospitality is 100% a real thing. If you are looking at moving to Nashville or the South or wherever, and you're wondering if Southern hospitality is a real thing, it definitely is. Um, it is, I mean, definitely one of my favorite things about living in Tennessee and in the South in general, but people are just so friendly. Um, it doesn't matter whether you're in the city or if you're out like in the country, People are so nice. Everyone is, yes sir, yes ma'am, holds the door open for you. I've personally found, especially having kids, that people are much friendlier toward like families or toward your kids in general than they are other places, which is really nice. Um, like when my husband and I go out with our two-year-old son, everyone will like play with him and talk to him and just, interact with him. Whereas when we're out West or in other cities, people are much more cold to kids or families or whatever it may be. Um, but yeah, I love the Southern hospitality in and around Nashville. It's definitely real and it is for sure one of the best things about being out here. Number three, kind of going off of this is that Southern cooking is definitely as good as it's cracked up up to be. Um, obviously everyone talks about Southern cooking and Southern like comfort food and things like that. And it's definitely real if you're not familiar with that. Um, one of the best things in my opinion, uh, living in Nashville, around Nashville, whatever it is, is the food. There are a million times more amazing restaurants than there are ones that aren't so great. Um, coming from other cities, I know that that's not always the case. So living in a place where people really value like food and find connection in it and like just put value into food is really important to me personally. Um, but if you like food, which I feel like most people do, Nashville is definitely an amazing place for you because there are so many good places to eat. Number four, fun fact for you is that Tennessee has no state income tax. Um, I think it's one of like 10 or 11, I could be wrong, I'll double check that. Um, but I think it's one of like 10 or 11 states in the US that doesn't have state income tax, so that's definitely a plus for living here. Number five, a cool thing about Nashville is that the city is so diverse, you can basically drive like five, 10 minutes down the road and you're in a completely different area. Um, just for example, you can be downtown doing like the Broadway scene with all the bars and the honky tonks and everything like that drive 10 minutes and you're in 12 South, which is like a cool artsy, like restaurant and shopping area. Drive another couple minutes, you can be in Sylvan Park, which is like kind of the indie area. Go to the other side of town and you're in like Germantown. You can be out by a lake on the east side of Nashville. Basically the area just has so much to offer. If you're not crazy about a certain hour or a certain area, drive 10, 15 minutes down the road and you will be in a completely different area. Another fun fact, I guess, is that half of Tennessee is in central time, half of Tennessee is in Eastern time. 
Um, I think the cutoff is right east of Nashville um, because Nashville and Memphis are in Central Time, Knoxville and Eastern Tennessee and that area is uh, Eastern Time. I think I said that right. Nashville, Central, Knoxville, Eastern. The next thing, there is a saying in the South that is basically just, if you don't like the weather, wait 15 minutes. And that is <laughs> so true. The weather around Nashville or Tennessee, the South in general changes so quickly. Um, if you don't like it, just wait. You'll probably get hit with a rainstorm or it'll suddenly get super hot and sunny. Whatever it is, the weather can be very unpredictable um, around the Nashville area. So keep uh, an umbrella with you because you will definitely be caught in an unexpected rainstorm at one point or another. And the last thing, like I said, this is completely random. Just some of my random thoughts from living around Nashville uh, coming from out west um, is that there are not a lot of drive through coffee places, which I know seems like a really stupid thing. But when you have kids, sometimes it's hard to get your kids out of the car just to go in to grab a coffee. Um, and I guess out west, drive through coffee places are just a much more normal thing. You won't find a ton of those around Nashville. So take it for what you will. It's probably a dumb thing, but just something that I've noticed. So yeah, there you guys have it. There is my completely random list of things that you should know before moving to the Nashville area. I hope that this was funny or insightful or that you took something from it. But if you guys are thinking about moving to the area or if you have any questions on buying or selling or life here or whatever it may be, feel free to drop them below, um, send me an email, connect with me on social media, and I am always available and happy to help you guys out. So till my next video, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.